What's up, Gears Nation? It's your boy, the Gears Prodigy, coming back at you with, yet again, another metal guide. But like always, before we actually get into the as for mentioned metal guide, if you're not already part of the Gears Nation, be sure to subscribe and hit the fuck out of that notification bell. And now that all that self plug bullshit is out of the way, let's get into the as for mentioned metal guide. Shit, yeah. So as of right now, the Escape Medic metal is glitched out. And that metal is where you have to get 50 revives and escape, as I believe, called gear, and escape. Well, thanks to half-ass development and lazy testers, you can now do that in Horde. So to glitch that metal out and get the other two metals, you're simply just going to need to load up Private Horde on Foundation. You're going to want to turn on a couple mutators just so they do a little bit more damage. And then you're going to need a secondary controller or an Xbox Live friend to be the decoy for you so you can revive them repetitively. You're going to need to be on wave 2 to 4 so you can get a reject. Simply go in this corner and and once you start healing as Jack, you can float over the cover and be in this little area. And then just have your secondary controller or your friend on Xbox run into that corner and get cornered by the reject. And then simply do this over and over. It'll take you a total of 150 revives to achieve all three medals. One gets unlocked at 50, one gets unlocked at 100, and one gets unlocked at 150 revives. This grinding method will take you about 10 to 20 minutes to complete it. It depends on how fast you are, really. Cool thing about this method is there's room for effort. So, for example, if you mess up and they die by the reject, that's okay. You can still be in this out of bounds area and pick up their tags and just drop it at the fabricator and then seconds later you can start it again. I recommend doing it with a friend on Xbox so that way you get a little bit of ally progression out of it. Because as it sits, ally progression is very, very slow. And as you can see on screen, we ended the game after I got my last medal, and right here is all three medals to show that you get all three medals from doing this method. Keep in mind, because this method does involve a glitch, it is subject to change. But I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar on it won't change anytime soon. Why? Because TC has a lengthy track record of not being able to patch stuff in a timely manner. So Gears Nation, be sure to let me know your thoughts and concerns in the comments below. Not only on the actual guide, but the video itself. While you're at it, be sure to share this video with anyone you know that plays Gears, so everybody can easily do these three medals. In actual playtime, it would take quite a while to achieve all of these medals separately. Doing this guide for about between 10 and 20 minutes is more efficient to unlock these medals and to earn a little bit of progression in Tour of Duty 2. Special thanks and a warranted shout out to Master Chimp 12 for hitting me up about this method. If you found this video informative and or enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. And if you're not already a part of the Gears Nation, be sure to subscribe and hit the fuck out of that notification bell. If you would like to contribute to the growth of my channel, be sure to share on all social media platforms. For the latest news and info on my channel, be sure to follow me on Twitter. For other entertainment, be sure to follow me on Instagram.